how are y'all doing today? My name is Bernie Thompson and today we're going to take a look at a 2006 Volvo XC90. This Volvo has a problem to where when you turn the turn switch so I can make a right turn or a left turn, we have no lights activated. We also have a problem with the wiper switch. Now both of these switches are on the same switch assembly that talks to the SIM. The SIM is the body control module on a Volvo. So the first thing we want to do is take our scan tool and we want to read the SIM and see if we have any fault codes for communication. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to read those codes. We have a system pass, no fault codes detected. Now that would make me think that there's not a problem, but what we really need to do is we need to look at the communication wire between the SIM and the turn switch. So let's go ahead and take this panel off and take a look at that. Have a wiring diagram brought up on the eScope Elite. This is the SIM controller, the body controller, and we can see this communication wire that's green and white that goes up to the light switch. The light switch assembly is the turn switch and the wiper switch. So what we want to look for is this green white wire. This is the turn signal switch and this is the wiper switch and they plug into a common board that's back here. Notice that this this uh, connector here has power ground and comm wires. Now notice that I have a twisted pair of white and a green wire. This is CAN and the CAN does not go for the low speed systems such as the wipers and the turn signal but CAN is present here and that wire goes into the turn angle sensor for the steering wheel. What we're interested in is the powers and grounds and the comm wire which is this green white wire. We've back probed the connection at the green-white wire. The green-white wire is the comm wire, LIN low speed, between the SIM and the light switch combination. So we've got that. Now what we need to do is take a look on the scope and see what's on that signal. We're going to take the eScope Elite now and we're going to start a deep recording. So this is the communication bus. What we want to do is we want to just blow up a section of this bus and we can see that we have four pulses, a break, four pulses, a break, four pulses, a break. I also want you to note that the voltage is only 4.5 volts. These systems usually work at battery voltage, which is basically 12 volts or 13 if the charging system is in function. Something's not right here, so we can do a couple of things. We can start this up, and I'm going to push the button for a reset. Do you see this little drop right here? So we're going to stop that. Now we want to come in and we want to take a look at this. Now we got extra pulses here. We have three pulses that have occurred here. One, two, and three. But this isn't communication, guys. What this is, is a problem with the bus line being drawn down. So what we want to do is I want to go back out. We're going to collect the data off of the bus while we're watching. Now I'm going to disconnect the switch. The switch is disconnected from the SIM module. Now when we come in here and we look, we're going to zoom in here. We want to see that we still have our 444 counts, but notice we're at 4.5. As soon as I unplug the switch, the bus is not loaded anymore and can actually start to communicate. Now we can see the difference here between our four where we have no communication bits. Do you see how in these packets we now have communication bits? What I want to do is I want to open this up and we can see where when we drop this down and then we have communications and we go off, this is how we're sending our information on this system. So this is a LIN system, a low speed system for the Volvo. Notice that we have the communication bits here and notice that we're also at 
at battery voltage or charge system voltage and when we come back to where we have our problem notice that the bus is being pulled down to 4.5 volts we can't communicate with it being pulled down but as soon as we unplug the switch we can clearly see that we get communications what this car is going to need is just the new switch assembly this is going to be a real easy repair this Volvo XC90 is going to be a real quick car to fix. We got codes, we went in and looked at the comm wire with the scope, we could see that we had a disturbance on that comm. We unplugged the switch, that took the load off of the bus to where the bus would start to communicate. That's what you can see here. That means that the switch is bad and it's pulling the bus down, it's loading it. When you unplug it, the load comes off and the comm starts to work. You can see that the communications is here. So once we replace the board for the switch, this car is going to be able to have turn signals, high low beams, and the wipers are going to work. What you need to fix these type of cars is a scope. The eScope Elite will help your shop make money quickly and accurately.